In this presentation, I'm going to go through the reproduction of moles, both sexual and asexual. Before we start looking at the two different types of reproduction of moles, both sexual and asexual, it's important that you understand the structure of moles. Moles all begin with a single spore. That spore then forms a hypha or thread-like structure, the singular, and over time, many of those thread-like structures form to become the pl plural hyphae. Eventually, with multiple hyphae, multiple spores, you will form what's called a mycelium, which is like a mass, and that is the mold that you will usually see on food or other items that have mold on them. First, I'm going to begin talking about the asexual reproduction of moles. This is called asexual because only one singular spore is involved. Asexual always means when something reproduces on its own without a partner. So asexual reproduction of moles begins with one single spore cell that lands on favorable conditions. In this case, because we're in home ec, we're going to talk about it landing on food. You remember now, the food not only provides favorable conditions, but it also needs to have things like oxygen, water, and time to grow. The second stage of asexual reproduction in moles then is now that the singular spore has landed on its favorable conditions, it produces one singular hypha. The hypha is one singular thread that comes from the spore that's going to multiply over time. The third step is now that the singular hyphae has landed on the food, it now grows down into the food to absorb some valuable nutrients the mold is going to need to further reproduce. As that hyphae begins to absorb the nutrients, the spore begins to produce many more threads called hyphae. The multiple hyphae threads are then going to give the mold valuable nutrients it's going to need to continue its asexual reproduction. As the hyphae, plural, grow even more, they become intertwined and form a mass called a mycelium. The mycelium is made up of many thousands of hyphae intertwined and interlocked in together. The mycelium is typically something that you will see on a food and is what you will be familiar with when you think about what mold looks like. Now the mycelium has been on the food for some time and has still got favorable conditions, so the correct temperature, enough food, oxygen, it's going to form either a sporangium or a conidia depending on the type of mold that it is. You can sometimes see sporangium on foods as little black dots in the mold. The conidia is a little bit harder to distinguish in food, but when we look at molds at a later stage, we'll be able to see whether the mold has a sporangium or a conidia coming out of its mycelium. Next, we're gonna talk about the sexual reproduction of molds. This is called sexual reproduction because it involves two partners. In this case, the two partners are two singular hypha. To begin the process of sexual reproduction, the two hypha begin to grow close to one another. For the next stage of the sexual reproduction of moles, the two hypha, now we can call them hyphae because they're plural, fuse or join together at a particular point. This particular point is where we're going to see a zygospore eventually form. So this point of meeting or point of joining or fusing together is going to be very important as we move on. Now the two hyphae have been joined together, the wall that once divided them begins to break down. Where this wall breaks down is where a zygospore is going to form. A zygospore is basically a ball full of individual spores. Now the zygospore has formed between two hyphae and conditions are now favourable, a single hypha begins to grow from that zygospore. At the top of that hypha, we're going to see a sporangium, which is going to be filled with the spores that were once in the zygospore. Now the sporangium is at the top of the hyphae that came from the zygospore. When the sporangium becomes full of spores, it's going to burst. These spores are going to be released into the air 
and fall either back on top of the food or move elsewhere. Once these spores land, either sexual or asexual reproduction will continue. Here you will be able to see the five stages of sexual reproduction of moles, starting from when the hypha grow close to each other, up to where the sporangium is formed from the zygospore and bursts to release its spores. This diagram may be a little bit easier as you can see all five steps in a row.